Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, we are going to discuss about minimum inhibitory concentration by agar dilution method. Before we talk about the procedure, let me remind you what is MIC or in other words, we say minimum inhibitory concentration. MIC is the lowest or you can say the minimum concentration of a chemical, usually an antibiotic which is able to stop or inhibit the growth of the bacteria. So in this tutorial, we are going to know how can we test the minimum inhibitory concentration experimentally. And to check the MIC, we are using agar dilution method. So in this technique, the antibiotic to be tested is first diluted with water. And this makes a series of concentrations. Then. An appropriate volume of the each dilution is combined with melted agar to produce plates. Into these plates, we add the bacteria. This method is specially used if a single antibiotic is to be tested against a number of bacteria. You can say up to 30 different bacteria can be tested by this method at a time. Now let's understand it practically. Antibiotic agar preparation. First of all, let's start with the preparation of stock solution. So, we need antibiotic. The choice of antibiotic depends on the type of microorganisms you want to test against. Usually, it's available as 600 mg per bottle. The 600 mg antibiotic is diluted with 6 ml to make stock solution having concentration of 100 mg per ml. From this stock solution, we take 1 ml and transfer it into the another tube containing 9 ml of distilled water. This would give us the concentration 10 mg per ml. From this 10 mg dilution, we are gonna make 1 ml aliquots. Of course, this would have the same concentration of 10 mg per ml. Don't forget to mark the aliquots with the antibiotic concentration, date of preparation and expiry date. Store these aliquots at minus 60 degrees centigrade. Next is the preparation of antibiotic dilutions. Now we are gonna make various dilutions of the antibiotic. So here comes the main point. You need to select the range of antibiotic dilutions needed. And this is based on the MIC range for quality control organisms. So this is going to be different for each antibiotic. Let's use one aliquot having concentration of 10 mg per ml. We transfer 1 ml into the tube having 9 ml of distilled water. The concentration would be now 1 mg per ml. Now, from this 1 mg per ml concentration antibiotic solution, we are gonna make required dilutions. As I already mentioned, the dilutions depend on the MIC ranges for a specific organism. So, you need to make it according to that. But for now, I will tell you, generally these are in the concentrations of few micrograms per ml. Let's suppose, for example, from 1 mg per ml concentration, we take 100 microliter and transfer it into 19.2 ml of distilled water. This would give us 20 ml and the concentration is 4 microgram per ml. From here on, we are gonna double dilute by serially transferring 10 ml from each tube. So for that, we transfer 10 ml to make 2 microgram per ml and then to next tube to make 1 microgram per ml and similarly to the next one which would give 0.5 microgram per ml and this thing goes on. Now it's the time for the use of Muller Hinton agar. Let's say this is for 4 microgram per ml antibiotic. So, we add 4 microgram per ml antibiotic solution into this. 
After this, the Müller Hinton agar solution with antibiotic is poured into the petri dish. The process is repeated for each serially diluted concentration. After doing this, we keep the plates to solidify. Next step is the preparation of inoculum. So, we have overnight grown culture of the required bacteria. You can see the clearly visible well-formed bacterial colonies. We pick the colonies and add into the distilled water to make a suspension. Remember, from here on, you need to further dilute the bacterial suspension and this depends on the type of bacteria we are testing against. Then we inoculate 1 to 2 microliter of this inoculum onto the agar surface. We repeat the same procedure for different concentrations. Then we allow the spores to dry before incubation. After this, the petri plates are incubated at 37 degrees centigrade. Results and interpretation. First watch for control plates. This is the one which is not having antibiotic. The organisms must grow here. If the growth is not seen, it means the test is not valid. Then we check for the least concentration of antibiotic which still prevents the growth of microorganisms. This would be the MIC of the antibiotic used. This was all. Thanks for watching.